Good evening. Thank you very much for coming this evening. If we were making a film, we'd be in triple golden overtime at this point. <laughs> I'm sorry we're running a little late. Ron Meyer and Bill Haber join me in welcoming you to Creative Artists Agency for this very special event. We also want to thank you very much for supporting this evening. We know that there are enormous amounts of demands made on all of the people in this room, and specifically on your time and your resources. We thank you for committing both of them to tonight. Also, thank you to the men and women of CAA, the staff of the White House, the DNC, and the Secret Service for working so hard to put this evening together. David Wilhelm has a well-earned reputation as one of America's foremost political strategists. As manager of then-Governor Clinton's presidential bid, David helped take the Clinton-Gore campaign from improbable to unstoppable. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the chairman of the Democratic National Committee, David Wilhelm. It's my great privilege to introduce our guest of honor this evening. This week, the political commentators Jack Garamond and Jules Whitcover wrote about President Clinton in the National Journal, and I quote, inevitably, the political leader who leads invites reaction and criticism. It's <laughs> a nice start. It doesn't get worse from here. <laughs> Bill Clinton has taken more than his share of criticism during these first 10 months in office. Why? Because for the first time in a very long time, America has a political leader who will lead, a leader who will take risks, a leader who will put his political capital on the line, a leader who will fight for what he believes with a tenacity that one can't help but admire. Bill Clinton takes the field, as one observer said, like an old-time fullback who knows he's going to get hit, knows he's going to get knocked off his feet, knows every yard is tough, but he gets up and he does it again and again and again. The relent this relentless tenacity is paying off. President Clinton fought for and won NAFTA approval, Real deficit reduction. <laughs> Family leave. <laughs> Motor voter registration. <laughs> and most recently, the Brady Bill. An interesting fact, Congress has passed a higher percentage of this president's first year proposals than any other president with the exception of Eisenhower, and possibly soon, even more. But, but 12 years of inadequate domestic commitment cannot be reversed in 12 months, even by this president. So Bill Clinton is back on the field, fighting for health care reform, anti-crime measures, economic revitalization, and America's place in a post-Cold War world. Tough, incredibly complex issues affecting the lives of millions of people. But on the path of his mission, the President has a problem. Our society has been conditioned by a culture of instantaneous communication, followed by instantaneous expectations. We are beeped, faxed, emailed, cellularized, and televised into any event, anywhere, anytime. Our demand for instant solutions to complex problems is an unintended but very real consequence 
of the media age within which we all live. President Clinton is trying to put us back on track, but he needs help with one thing, time. Time to craft real solutions to these very real problems. Time to build a consensus and time to enact change. And in that time, as we have seen so very recently, President Clinton will continue to fulfill the hopeful expectations which swept him into office just a year ago. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Ron Meyer, Bill Haber, and the entire CA family, it is our honor to present to you the President of the United States.